Hello everyone, it's Jackie from Pretty Paper Crafts. I'm just coming on with this week's video. It's not going to be long. It is a basic one, just simply butterflies. That's why I've called it, just simply butterflies. That's all it is. And it is made with scraps. Apart from the backing piece on the cards, all the rest are small areas and die cut with butterflies so you do need dies and you do need butterflies <coughs> excuse me butterfly dies your shapes you don't necessarily i mean i've got the dies for them but you don't necessarily need the dies because you can go on to google or somewhere like that and down just download the free shapes you can get them different sizes or your printer might shrink them or make them bigger for you so the, the actual shapes on there, what I've tried to do is do a basic shape, which I put the butterfly dies on. I've used more than one layer of the dies to give them a bit of dimension. And um, that that's all it is. It's just really, really simple. So if you want some really simple cards, you've got some butterfly dies and you've got lots of scraps like all of us have, then... All you need to do is just look at this and you can come up with lots of amazing versions. It is really, really easy and it helps you some of your scraps up. So all I'm going to do is show you the cards that I've made. A nice short video. I've done this one with the hexagon shapes. I've done four and I've done three layers of butterflies on each one. I've done them pointing towards the middle, but it doesn't mean you can have your card any way you want it. So you can have it that way, or you can have it that way because they're all facing the middle. So that's that one, that's quite simple. This one is just a bit of a, a romantic um, type card. I've left it blank. I haven't put any verses in these yet because they can be used for get well or any occasion or a just because card. This one I've done the vellum, a layer of vellum, then a white, then a red and then a white again. So this is a layer of vellum and red mirror card. This one I'm I'm not so sure about because this is a really, really delicate die. It's intricate die, not delicate die, intricate die. And I've used the layers. And although I've done numerous layers, I've the vellum that I've used the vellum, the mirror card that I've used is not really strong enough to give it like these ones they are nice and strong the die is a nice strong one it's got all the surrounding shape to it so it's holding it together this die hasn't got a surrounding shape so the edges are all delicate and bitty like this so of course it automatically wants to curl so i'm not totally enthralled with it but it's okay it's okay in fact the card is warping slightly on that one but anyway as i said i'm not this is multi-colored miri card but i don't think that works i like the background i like this dye that i've used in the background i certainly like it on the black surround but i don't think i like the dye i think on a stiff 300 gram or 350 gram card that would be okay now this one this one works this one is lovely for me i like this basically done on your black one i've used the two circles i've layered them up on white black and mary the silver and then the white not put anything inside that one yet and these ones although this die hasn't got a, an edge it sort of has got an edge it's just a bit more detailed but this one to me is lovely i've done the three layers 
on both of them. Uh, I just, I think this is probably, well, it's one of the favourites. There is two, two that I really like. Um, that one and the one coming up in a minute. This one again is, this one though was the, the, frame the all the white apart from that I put in there is the actual die the background is the multicolor mirror card that I used for that butterfly so all I had to do is just die cut it in white and put it on the top of that mirror card and I just done an extra layer in white and cut it they do have little bits that don't um are not meant to be 3d'd but you can just round them off and it looks quite nice it's just finished it off lovely so that although it doesn't look much it's a beautiful card it's really really pretty and this is the other one that i think could be my favorite it's just a bit of um non-shed glitter card that was a scrap i got a couple of scraps like that one circle in the middle here and all these little tiny butterflies they are all the, exactly the same dye and i done pink silver pink silver all the way around but this one for example i used the pink one which is a plain one it's not got the details and then this one and then this next one i used the silver plain one the pink one and I just alternated it all the way around it stands up like that it's a really nice so mine my favorites are that one and that one let me know at the bottom on your feedback let me know which is your favorite um I would really like to know on that now just a quick um information thing I'm going to be doing a couple of other videos. I've got one which I'll be doing in the next few days. It's an AI one. Not everyone will be interested in the AI, but I've decided to keep it on here. I don't do them that often, but um, it will shortly follow this video. So you will know that the next one is um, my AI one. So you can just plod on by if you're not interested. Otherwise, I will catch you very shortly in another video. So, have fun. Bye.